Example two. In example one, each night's outcome is a result of a chance experiment, rolling the tetrahedral die. Thus, there is a probability associated with each night's outcome. By multiplying the probabilities of the outcomes from each stage, we can obtain the probability for each branch of the tree. In this case, we can figure out the probability for each of our four outcomes, BB, BC, CB, and CC. For this family, a card game will be played if a die lands showing a value of 1, and a board game will be played if the die lands showing a value of 2, 3, or 4. So this makes the probability of a board game B on any given night 0.75. So we would have 3 out of 4 total options for playing a board game. So in the table, let me try to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little clearer. So they've listed out the probabilities. So a board game was 0.75 and then a board game was 0.75, which then gave our outcome BB. We multiply our two probabilities together. So the probability of playing um, board games two consecutive nights would be 0.5625 or about 56%. They've also given us the next one here, um, board game and card game which our card game is only one out of four, so it's a 0 0.25 or 25% chance of occurring. So we multiply those two probabilities together, 0 0.75 and 0 0.25, and we get a probability of 0 0.1875, or about 19%. All right, let's look at our first question here. The probabilities for two of the four outcomes are shown. Now compute the probabilities for the two remaining outcomes. So if we go back to our tree, we're going to find the probability of these last two outcomes. So we have CB and CC. So the probability of a card game was 0 0.25 and the probability of a board game was 0 0.75 which that multiplication was already done in the in the table so we know what that um, equals so 0 0.1875 um, and then for our card game 0 0.25 oops, times 0 0.25 and when we multiply these two um, probabilities together we get 0 0.0625 What is the probability that there will be exactly one night of board games over the two nights? So we're going to go to our back to our table. So this has one board game or two board games over two nights, so this would not be a possible outcome. This has one board game over two nights, so we could use the outcome BC. This has one board game over the two nights, CB. And then this has no board games, so that is not an option as well. So we're going to list out these probabilities. And then if we're talking about the two nights combined, we're going to combine the two probabilities together. So our probability for getting a board game and then a card game was 0 0.1875. And then we had found the probability of a card game and board game as 0 0.1875. So we could take this, we could add them together, or we could times this by two because it's the same number. <clears throat> and when we multiply, we get 0 0.3750.